Well, learning about history and taking Arkansas along for the journey. That's the mission of the Arkansas Martin Luther King Jr. Commission as they travel to Selma, Alabama every year. And this year was no different. The commission brought along some students to learn and commemorate both the bloody confrontation at the Pettus Bridge and the march from Selma to Montgomery. Fox 16, Tylisa Hampton is the only TV reporter traveling with the commission and has more on how they're honoring this weekend. As music fills the air and crowds gather around for food and fun. At the foot of Selma, Alabama's Edmund Pettus Bridge holds a history that sparked change. Yeah, 58 years ago, our forefathers uh, marched uh, for a three-day uh, walk from Selma, Alabama to Montgomery uh, to speak about the Voting Rights Act. The Arkansas Martin Luther King Jr. Commission says that march, although met with opposition, did not go in vain. A few months later, Congress enacted the Voting Rights Act of 1965, and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was president. But I would rather die on the highways of Alabama than make a butchery of my conscience. Yes, With the 58th anniversary of the Selma Bridge crossing close, the commission traveled to commemorate its legacy, starting with a festival under a city that brought unity. It provides an opportunity for us to have one-on-one -on -one time. The commission also took these two 13-year-old Eastham students, the Ferris sisters, to join thousands of people from across the world. I like to learn about what happened on the bridge and like all the signs. I just love, love learning about history. Teachable moments they'll hold on to. They'll continue to teach that legacy as well and it'll never be forgotten. Fair is grateful she got to learn about this piece of history.